Hey there, and welcome to our quads, calves, and thighs hypertrophy strength training session. We are going to get right into today's workout. We're going to start with our warm up, but I just want to let you know what we need for today's workout. That is going to be your dumbbells. If you have your mat, make sure you grab that. I have my box today, so if you have your box or a sturdy chair, have that available. If not, you can do all the exercises without that as well. Today, I have my glute band and also ankle weight. So if you have these extras, grab those as well, just to add a little bit extra to this workout. But if you want to start your watch, you can do that. And we're going to get right into our warm up for today. So starting, we're just going to start warming up the upper body because we are going to be holding on to some heavy dumbbells today. So we want to make sure everything is warm from head to toe, crossing one arm on top and then the other. We've got three more here and two. And one, big arm circles back. Nice, big arm circles, taking it at your own pace, but take it a little bit slow so you can really feel the shoulders warming up here. So excited you are here for leg day. Leg day is one of my faves. And this is gonna be a tough combo today. We've got two more and one. From here, we're gonna take and reach to the side and back up, switch it over. So as we do this stretch, as we reach, I want you to work it a little bit farther down and then back up. So we're not gonna hold any of the stretches. We're gonna actively work through the stretches today just to get the joints, the muscles warmed up. Those longer stretches are gonna be held for the end of your workout. That's when you're gonna increase your flexibility, reduce muscle soreness is adding that stretch on at the end. One more here. Good, from here we're gonna take it up, turn those toes out, we're gonna go down into a sumo squat, hands right above your knees here, and we're gonna twist. So drop that shoulder down, good, and other side. And twist, exhale with the twist, sink it a little bit lower if you can, get a little bit deeper into that twist. Good. One more each side. And last one here. So from here, in that sumo squat, we're gonna be down. We're gonna reach. Down, reach up nice and tall. Five more. And then we're gonna go into good mornings. Three. Two. Almost through the warm up. Last one here, one. Hands on your hips, walk those feet in. We're gonna hinge at the hips, push the hips back. And then we're gonna squeeze, push the hips forward. So we're down and squeeze. Slight bend in your knees, down. You can feel the back of the legs warming up. Down and up, down. One more and up, good. Now we're gonna take it to the side and other side. So just a nice, light side to side lunge here. Not sinking down too far, just warming everything up. As you go, you can sink a little bit farther. Two more, so one on each side, and good. From here, walk the feet in. We're gonna do warm up the quad, so stretch it out, and switch, and switch it up. Breathing, chest is up. Good. One more each side from here. And Last but not least, we're gonna grab, pull the knee into the chest, stand up, and then extend. So get those hips warmed up, getting the quads warmed up, the thighs, the glutes, we're getting it all warm, ready to go. And this is gonna be the last one. And now we're gonna get ready to go into our first exercise, which is a goblet squat. So you'll need one dumbbell, Added resistance is going to be adding that glute uh, band right above your knees. So if you have that, add that on, get your dumbbell, go heavy. We are going all in today. Work timer is gonna be on for 35 seconds, rest for 20, longer rest in between each round. Let's do this. All right, so bringing that dumbbell up, getting ready to go in three, two, let's squat it out. Here we go, down and squeeze. So at the top, really get that squeeze right here. The goblet squat works. I mean, it's working the hamstrings and the glutes as well, but 
the goblet squat does intensify the quad work just a little bit more. And also with this band, this is working the thighs as well. So we get three times through each exercise today until we get to that fourth round, which is going to have a one minute burner at the end. Last one, down, push it up. Whew. Nice. All right, you get a quick break. How did you feel with the weight? Did you go heavy enough? If you can go a little bit heavier, go heavier. You may even see me doing this workout today, switching my weight up during our sets. Whew. And if you need to do that too, I want you to go for it. Make this time count. This is your time, this is your workout. Let's go all in. Goblet squat again. Here we go. Down. Now I know we do get three chances with each exercise, but the 35 seconds, it is gonna go by quickly. So maximize each second and each rep. And squeeze. Good. If you do have that band on, make sure you're keeping pressure on the band and not letting that band pull your knees in. Last one, and up. Good. One more set. Breathe it out, shake it out. Next exercise, we're gonna need the box. So if you have your box, make sure you have that. If not, you're just gonna do a lunge on the floor with no box. Here we go and squeeze. I'm just putting out that we're gonna need the box because I want you to be ready because just like the 35 seconds is gonna go by fast, the 20 seconds of rest is also going to go by quickly. Come on, stay strong over halfway. Oh, these last few reps, they are tough. You've got it though. One more. Nice, all right. You can set your dumbbell down. No band for this one, but grab that box quickly. Bulgarian split squat, again, you can do a lunge on the floor, and you can also optional with dumbbells. If this is new to you, try it without dumbbells and then see how you feel. But let's get ready. Getting into position, toe is up. Here we go. And up. Keeping your chest up on this one. We have this worked this before where we do a little hinge to emphasize the glutes, but right now, all about that quad. So keep that chest up. Down and press. Good. Exhale as you press up. Pressing through the heel here in the front. Last one. Down and press, good. Rest timer's going by quick. Can you up your weights? Maybe you can add weights this time around. Do what you need to, get back into position. You can also keep your foot flat on the box or chair. I just like to keep it on my toes. But let's begin, here we go. Down and up. This is an awesome exercise to help work your balance. So you can see it is challenging those stabilizer muscles. And that is a good thing. We're getting stronger in all areas right now. The big muscles, the small muscles, the core muscles. And that was it. Breathe. This is a tough exercise. I know, but we've got one set left. And then we switch it up. All right, get back into position. Foot is up. And let's begin. Shoulders rolled down and back. Keep your head up. And push, good. Make sure up at the top here, you get your balance before you start to lower down. So don't be wobbling around and then try to lower down into a balance and down. Last one. Nice. 
All right, just switching sides. I just need to dry off. If you need to grab a drink, dry off anytime. Do that. If you need to take a longer recovery, do that as well. Get right back into it though. All right, so opposite leg now. Switch it up. Chest is up. And here we go. Down, push. Make sure your back isn't starting to round, shoulders aren't coming forward, roll it back. And up. Weight is in the heel on this front leg. Stella, how are you today? Enjoying your nice yellow chair? Well, we are sweating our bums off. Ooh. Oh my goodness, we are working. I am sweating already. Come on, got it, yes. Two more sets, two more sets of that. And then round one is done. Oh, breathing. Oh. Hey, we're taking the little celebrations right now. Almost through round one. Oh yeah, we're gonna celebrate. And then we're gonna move on to round two. All right, here we go. Let's get back into it. Down and press. One side you may find is a little bit more challenging, maybe in balance or even in that lower down and press up. And that is okay. Muscular imbalances are something that when we work unilaterally, we get to work on. So don't be discouraged or concerned if one side is stronger than the other, this does happen. But right now we're working on that, getting both sides equal. Last one. Yes. Nice job, shake it out. Breathe it out. Oh my goodness. I don't know about you, but my quads are on fire. Whew. All right, last time. So excited I got to say that to you. Here we go. You probably were so excited to hear that. Down. And even if you do not have the box and you were just doing those lunges, quads still feeling it. and press. This is also an awesome one to work the thighs as well. So a lot of these exercises we do today will be compound moves, meaning we are gonna be working more than just one muscle group. Last one, down and up, amazing. Oh, okay. Oh, one more exercise. We have the bear crawl extensions, oh yes. So you can pop your box out. We're gonna go into that bear crawl hold. We're gonna extend the legs, making an upside down V and then back. So bring it up. Here we go. Really contract the quads, press. Good. Down. <sighs> You're gonna feel your core on this. You're also gonna feel the upper body working a little bit but down, come on, squeeze the legs. Down and press, almost there. And press, good, bring it to the knees. You can press it back if you'd like. You can dry off and grab a drink. I am, are we doing a cycling workout? And I don't, I am like completely soaked right now. Two more times of that, you should feel this here, but you can feel it here and you can feel it here. <laughs> so again, this is an awesome exercise right here. Back up into that bear crawl. Here we go. So feet are about shoulder width. Arms are about shoulder width. And I want you to hold it here for a second and then back down. Don't let those knees touch. If you don't need to let your knees touch, the knees are just grazing the floor. They are not touching. Whew. So we just hold it, we're hovering, and we press and squeeze the legs. Last one, down. Good. Now knees can come down. You can press it back. You can press it up. Shake it out, we've got one more. Then, then we get to move on to round two. Ah, all right. Get back into it. Time is up. Here we go. And press. Come on, press. 
So push those heels down towards the floor. Right here. Exhale. Good. Down. Keep your core engaged as well. Come on, press it up. Almost there. And my necklace is stuck around my chin. <laughs> and last one. Ooh, that is a mover and a shaker. Oh my goodness, we are burning. All right, now we get a little extra recovery, but we are gonna stay down here on the mat. We're gonna go into a side plank with a side leg lift. Now this is where you can put on your booty band right above your knees or your ankle weights. I'm gonna use the ankle weights for this one. I'm gonna put them on right now and quickly because we do only have about 15 seconds. So side plank with a leg lift. So you'll see a modification on screen as well. So you can take that, but if not, we're down. Well, everyone's on the forearm. We're up and here we go. Lift and lower. Good. Work in the thighs now. Squeeze, but again, also working the core muscles. And squeeze, good. You can also feel this running down as well. The outer thigh on the bottom leg. Hand can be wherever you want it to be. It can be up, it can be behind your head, it can be on your hips. Last one. Good, and down. Bring it down, shake it out, and hang out here. What, 10 more seconds, and we go. Stella, you wanted to run away from the leg workout today? I do understand. <laughs> We're not running away though, we are sticking with it. Here we go, second set. Lift and lower. Keep the legs strong. My oh my. And lower. Nice job. We really do have a lot of unilateral work today where we're gonna work one side and then the other. So you will notice that. That was it on that side. Dry off if you need to. One more time on this side. And then we will switch it up. All right, let's get back into position. All right, make sure elbow and shoulder are in line here. Bring it up and let's go. And down. Good. And lift. Ooh. Over halfway. Taking a quick break, oh my goodness, I'm shaking so bad. You are rocking it. This is not an easy leg day. And I know this leg day can be hard for some of you. So I am so glad that you push play. Last one, and you are rocking it out. This will make a difference for you. You're not just doing this, just this is gonna make a difference. So awesome you are here pushing, whether you love leg day or not. Bring it down, go into the other side now. Shoulder, elbow in line. Modification is available if you need it. And here we go. Lift, now we lift the leg. So we've got this isometric hold of the side plank and then the lift and lower. Ooh. And I, make sure you're still breathing. Make sure you're focusing on form for the plank so that hip is not sagging. Make sure it's staying up. Oh, this rest, this 20 seconds rest is gonna be, oh, it's gonna be the best. And down. Breathing. Two more times. Two more times and then we get to bring it up. All right. Stretch it out if you need to. Get ready to go. Five seconds. Take it out. Bring it up. And let's get right back at it. And down. 
Just taking the modification for a second, that's all. <laughs> Cause you are still feeling that. Good. 10 seconds. <sighs> These cute little innocent moves, they just seem so sweet until you do them and you're like, ah, this is oh, something else. Awesome job. One more time now. We're going into it in 10 seconds. So bring it back down, get ready. Let's bring it up. Last time, here we go. Keep the hips up. I can definitely tell that this side is struggling and it might just be because it's tired from working the other side. So you may find that as well, because it was working. Well, we did the other plank as well. Oh my goodness. So close. And that was it. Bring it down. You can keep your ankle weights on if you want. Actually, you can keep those on. We're gonna do side lunges. We're gonna work one side three times, then the other optional dumbbells. I'm going to use one dumbbell in the front. Grab what you need. Make sure you're going heavy and we're gonna lunge it to the side. Here we go. And up. So we're gonna be working the quads and the thighs on this one. And this is what's gonna finish out round two as well. So work one side, then the other. Round two is done. Then we have round three, which is only two exercises because we're gonna work the calves. And then round four, the burner round, one minute for a quad, a calf, and a thighs exercise. You got it, nice. How'd you do with that weight? Could you go up? I want you to think about that, but I also want you to think, I want you to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go up just a little bit here for my weight. If you can do that, do it. Bring it up, and here we go, same side. Drop it down and up. So sink back into it. Modification, when you were doing that, really think about squeezing while that leg is at the top of the lift. But if lunges do not bother your knees, I want you to work the lunge because lunges are an awesome exercise, especially here, we're working balance, so we're working stabilizer muscles, but really working the thighs as well. And one, nice, you got 20. Shake it out, grab a drink, dry off. How's the weight? We've got one more set. So if you can go up, I want you to go up. Breathing. Let's get it up, let's get ready. Five seconds. Here we go. And one, time is ready. Time is ready. I guess that's a saying you could say. <laughs> the time is on, 35 seconds. The 35 second timer was ready for its debut. Oh, not really a debut. We've been doing this now for quite a few sets. And press, good. Keep your chest up, shoulders rolled down and back. You will get a slight hinge forward with your chest, but make sure you're not dropping down. Last one, nice. Just switching sides. So same thing, other side. How'd you do with your dumbbells? I know I was lighter on the first set, but I'm just gonna try to keep it with the heavier to start. All right, going in three seconds, bring it up. Here we go. And press. The ankle weights are adding just a little bit more as we take that leg across. Nice work. Just about 10 seconds now. Oh, 
This is it. Come on, down and up. Nice. All right, 20 seconds. Get ready to go again. If you did make a change in your weight for the first set and you want to change back to a heavier weight or lighter possibly, go for that now. We've got eight seconds, so let's bring it up. Timer is ticking. Here we go in three and one. Set two. So hypertrophy training is all about helping you shape those muscles. So that's what we are working on for Refine. If you don't know what Refine is, you can find that in the description. But if you are taking part in Refine, these five weeks are all about building and shaping our muscles, as well as that HIIT training on the bike. It's gonna be an intense, awesome five weeks. And I actually cannot wait to see the changes we have. Down and up, good. All right, last set, 20 seconds. Of course, diet is gonna be Important too, with what you're doing, making sure you're fueling your body properly. And if you did get the refined bundle, you will see I included a bunch of snacks and a bunch of nutrition tips that I follow in my everyday life. So hopefully that'll be helpful to you. All right, last set, here we go. Down and up. Last exercise for round two as well. Good. Push through the heel on this leg here. Push. So you don't wanna push from the toes to try to get up. Sit that bum back, push through the heel. 10. Count them down, come on. So close. Five now. Two, and that's one. Nice, all right, now we're gonna need that box again. All calves, so we're gonna get a little bit of a longer break. Breathing. Oh, hello. Uh-oh, someone's sassing me. All right, grab your box or your chair. Now again, if you don't have a box or a chair, you are gonna do these standing, but we're gonna do a toes turned in calf raise. So toes are, I'll actually face this way. So toes are gonna be in just a little bit. Don't need the ankle straps though, but one or two dumbbells, I'm gonna have them, I'm gonna have two dumbbells right behind my knees. So you can grab those and let's get ready to go because timer is ticking. Whew. We gotta move quick. All right, three seconds, toes in. Here we go. Lift, squeeze, and lower. Hold it at the top. Okay. And lift. Those bear crawl extensions will work in the calves a little bit because we were up on our toes. So the calves are warmed up and ready. Almost there. Squeeze, breathing, lift, toes turned in. Come on, almost there, last one. Nice, all right, rest it out. Did you go heavy enough? Your calf muscles are pretty strong, and especially while we're seated, you don't have to worry about balance, so you get to focus everything on the calf muscles. So make this seated work count right now. Go heavy enough. All right, getting ready, toes turned in, and here we go. Lift, squeeze, and lower. Now work at your own pace here, but make sure you're getting that hold at the top. We're not just like, wee! It's up, hold it, and down. And then we hold, and down. Squeeze, good. Breathe it out, because you're almost there, you're almost there. You may feel your calf muscles for the next couple days, because we are really working them today and nice breathing grab a drink dry off if you need to timer's gonna go by quick remember this is round three we only have two exercises both focused on the calves last one is in seven set or uh, last set is in five seconds now so get ready toes in and here we go lift squeeze and down nice and down, good. Squeeze, hold it at the top. Almost there. And then we won't need the box. Actually, we'll be out with the box for the remainder of this workout. And 
three seconds, two seconds, and one. Nice. All right, now we are doing a standing calf raise, so no box. We can pop this out. Ooh. All right, standing calf raise. So grab your dumbbells. You can have them up on your shoulders or you can have them down by your sides. And let's go, squeeze and down. Same thing as we were seated. I want you to hold it at the top, contract and down. Good, squeeze and down. If you find this is super challenging for your balance, you can do these seated again, or you can even do them just holding onto the wall with no weight. But if you're really working to use the weight, do them seated, and then you can start to work on your balance in this standing position. Squeeze, and last one. Nice, Ooh, 20 seconds. I've just gotta dry off. So after these final two sets, I'm gonna tell you what we have going on once we get into this set here. So grab your dumbbells, we go in five seconds, bring them up or down right here by your sides, and let's go. So for our last and final round four, it's gonna be a minute on the clock for each exercise. Again, we're gonna have an exercise that focuses on quads, one on thighs, one on calves. In those the one minute, you may have to take a little break, that's okay. You may have to go down and wait, that is okay too. I just want you to push for that one minute. Maybe you're doing just body weight. Again, totally fine. Just push to the end, make this time count. And we'll also have very minimal rest in between, just enough to switch the dumbbells out, switch positions, and go again. Last one. So that's what you get to expect after this last and final set for calf raises. Shake it out. Breathing. We've got 10 seconds, we finish out. Again, we're going heavy here, so you might need to shake out the hands a little bit. If you're gripping the dumbbells tight, grab them. Last set, here we go. Lift, squeeze, and lower. And squeeze, good. Squeeze, nice. Ooh. 20 seconds. Lift, good. Keep your head up, keep your shoulders rolled down and back. Five seconds. This last one, I want you to hold it for three, for two, for one. Nice, all right. Timer's gonna go by quick. First exercise, slow, lower, goblet, squat. So one dumbbell. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter than I did with my first goblet squat just because it's a minute of work and we're, we're slowing the lower down. So keep my tempo with this one. Here we go. Slow, slow, and up. Squeeze and push. Slow it down. Keep that chest up. Or down, squeeze and push. Come on here, six, five, four, three, two, and up. Whew. Nice, six down. Three, two, one, drive it up, push the hips. Slow, slow, slow. Really working the quads here with this slow lower. Two, and one, drive it up. Nice. Four, three, two, keep your chest up, and up. Five, four, two, yes. Come on, last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, all right, next exercise, a sumo squat. So we're just doing the sumo squat. Quickly grab your dumbbells, adjust those up. You can have two dumbbells here or one in the middle. Let's go, one minute, down and squeeze. Down, working the thighs with this one, hitting the inner and outer thighs. Quads, glutes, hands, they're working too. But we are really working the thighs as well with the sumo squat. That's why I love the sumo squat. It is such an awesome all around exercise. Keep that chest up. Working at your own tempo now. Down and up. Good. You're halfway before we finish out with our calf exercise. One minute burner. This is the burner round. You are so close. You have almost made it. Down 
and squeeze. Push, good. 10 seconds, this next exercise is gonna be a calf raise, but we're gonna pulse it for five. So those heels are not gonna to touch the ground until we have pulsed for five. Last one, nice. So calf raises, one or two dumbbells, grab them and get into position. Again, it's gonna be five up. Here we go, so five, four, three, two, one. Down, five. One, good. You can work at your own pace, so I won't count you out the whole time, but get those five in and then down. Good. Shoulders roll down and back. Don't let your chest fall forward. Come on, this is halfway. Burn out the calf muscles. Little move up and down. Those heels are not touching. We come down, five. Oh my goodness. You are so close. This is not the time to give up. This is the time where you change. You've got this. This is where you change your mind. When you said I couldn't, now you're saying I can. And you're gonna do it. This is it. Three, two, one. Goodness. Okay, the whole lower body feels like a bowl of jelly and it's awesome. You are amazing. You are absolutely the bomb.com. And I want to thank you so much for joining me for this awesome lower body workout. Do not forget your stretch. That is going to help with the muscle soreness after this one and help increase your flexibility. So bonus. So thank you for being here with me for this one. I will see you at the stretch and I